You just feel like every time there's a set piece, there's going to be a chance. It's Terry's header, and it's in! The captain's done it again! Unbelievable, John Terry. He, what, we're talking about him earlier. How, how impressive he is in the air. He's got to be one of the best in Europe at attacking the ball in the opposition's box. And once again, he's come up, I think that's about his sixth or seventh goal um, in this season. I mean, unbelievable. It's eighth for the season, in fact. It's his fourth in the Champions League, and it's game on at the bridge. John Terry has done it again. Very important. Watch Cavallo on the line. John Terry gets a knock. The goalkeeper tries to get across. I think Cavallo just gives him a little, you know, how you doing? Thank you very much. That's been a good few minutes for Chelsea. It's goalless, but it's not dull. That's a great take from Mount. Yeah. Away goal for Chelsea. Beautifully made. Patient but incisive. And Mason Mount, who's having a great 2021 for goals, scores his first in the Champions League. And Chelsea strike first in this quarter-final away leg. Well, there's lots of good things all about this movement, the passing, the turn, the finish, everything absolutely spot on here. Jorginho just drives it into his feet and it's the turn. Wow, look at that, sets it up for the shot straight away. And the shot is so accurate, no chance at all for Martinson. It's a wonderful finish. And it's a wonderful build-up, you know, in the passing. You just said it, Ben, a few moments ago. The last few minutes have been excellent from Chelsea. And now we've got our just rewards. Well, there goes Hazard. He's found Giroud. Angle's not great. Worked it back to Eddie Hazard. <laughs> Name on the trophy. You knew that he'd have something to say in this final. He scored twice in it. Chelsea's three-goal cushion is restored almost instantly. That's a great reply, isn't it, by Chelsea? And do what Giroud does brilliant here. I thought he was going to take this shot on as everybody else did, but he clips a delightful ball back to Hazard. But again, giving the ball away cheaply in midfield, and all of a sudden you don't want it to fall to Eden Hazard. Lovely little reverse pass, but this one by Giroud was perfect, and Hazard finishes it so sweetly. Especially Kovacic, who can get on the half turn and maybe move the ball onto the edge of the box. Gallagher's ball in. Might break for Havertz here. Ball for Kovacic! Oh, yes! Matteo Kovacic with a stunner. What a goal to put Chelsea ahead here. A big moment for Kovacic back in the country where he was born. It's his first goal since the 2nd of January. Unlike most of his previous for Chelsea, it's one that he's pulled right from the top drawer. Well, it's a classic Kovacic, he doesn't get many, but when he does, wow, what a finish this is. And to be honest, he just stuck a foot at it, and sometimes it works, as we can see. Often this will drift past the post on either side and not threaten the goal at all. But what I like about it is the cross. The cross comes in, Havertz makes something happen, keeps the ball alive. And by doing that, eventually it runs free to Kovacic, it's not one that was set up, it was just one of those that happens. Just swings of a left boot at it, that could have gone anywhere. But I'll take it, it's top corner. Oh, William, third time lucky maybe, shoots in the crowd. And yes! Yes! Into the corner, it is third time lucky!
Interception. Why is it so the show? Oh, that is a goal worthy of winning any cup final in the world. Gianfranco Zola's second touch has sent the Chelsea fans wild. One of the most dramatic substitutions in European Cup final history. Chelsea are ahead. And it's Dennis Wise's through ball. He just had a second to look up. Zola had found the space. What a stupendous strike. The other thing we haven't had tonight is a booking. Very unusual for a Champions League game. Not a single one so far. Clear. Yes. No flag here. As a Still, oh, that just caps the evening. What a brilliantly composed finish that was from a brilliant footballer. <laughs> Six of the best for Chelsea. Yeah, I mean, it was so easy, didn't it? Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I mean, just before the ball was played, I kind of come across and said, play! Because he had to time it right, and I shouldn't have doubted it. It was a willing, I think, that he played the ball through. Um, and he's... he's I think he's probably. I'm, I'm wondering if he's asking. Actually, it's like Aki. Yeah, it's Aki. Similar haircuts. Played it right. And there, I thought maybe it would taken maybe a touch too too much. You know, taking it inside. But it's effortless, isn't it? And you look at Eden Hazard. The problem the defenders have got with him. They have no idea if he's going to shoot with his right or left. Every touch. Let's just look at the technique here. That's the first one, kills it stone dead. Inside the defender, one more takes him away again, and a brilliant shot. You, and, and the real skill is, is the final touch. See that quick and hit. You know, if you take it out of your feet and then drag it and take your time, but no. Shape and tactics, we shall see. More of him shortly. And from Alonso, oh, it nearly fell for Giroud. It did for Mount, and then Giroud! Yeah! Oh, what a goal! Oh, oh no, it's not going to count. Well, this is very, very odd, and the lack of further replays make it impossible to have a look at what the issue may or may not be beyond that. You are joking! Well, it must have come off an Atletico player, and now Giroud can celebrate <laughs> a truly brilliant goal. He had to wait a long time for the mobbing. That's incredible. Onside. That's incredible, Ben. Away no goal offside. Five. Yeah, away goal is just what he wanted. And sometimes you get that little bit of luck. And of course, Atletico Madrid can't understand it, nor can we. Having only seen one brute, there's another chance here. Because it's it must have come off Hermoso's toe. Yeah, I think it's Hermoso. It it. That's a great finish. I mean, it's brilliant by Olivier Giroud. I mean, it's spectacular, he's got it so well timed. You're right, Oblak's at full strength and still can't get anywhere near it. It's this point here. Yep. Yep, uh, looking at that angle, that we couldn't quite see it, but... Jorginho. Pulisic. Havertz, looking to Ben. Oh, no, it's a brilliant goal. Kai Havertz with a stunner. One touch to set it. And Mason Mount and Graham Potter's reaction tell you all you need to know. That is a special, special goal. 
from Kai Havertz, who knows a thing or two about scoring big goals in this competition. Well, that might be the one that sends the Blues through to the knockout rounds. Nothing that Kern could do but stand back and admire it like the rest of us. Well, it's a wonderful finish, isn't it, from after a great builder. I just thought in the build-up play here, Salzburg, for me, just switched off slightly, allowing too much space for Pulisic to get the ball and drag defenders close to him, but still get the turn in. Then he's able to pick out Kai Havertz, but look at the space for Havertz. You know what? Give any of these top, top players enough space and with the quality that we know we've got, we're going to score goals. Through by Deschamps, towards a throw! The foundations of Stamford Bridge are rocking. You've got to believe it. I mean, but look at... I mean, that's brilliant from Tori Andre. Takes it, he strikes out against that ball. Just a one-touch ball into the space. No cover from uh, Frank De Boer. And he outpaces him comfortably. I mean, Abelardo... Abelardo's not the quickest in the world. And when he plays without an insurance man alongside him, which he hasn't got... Last half ball the boy, and they might get one. No flag against Ramirez! Oh, what a goal! Where's he pulled that from? Brazilian magic from Ramirez. It's game on again. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic running by Ramirez from deep. And Chelsea have scored. In a situation you just couldn't see it happening. Absolutely terrific. The pass was sublime. The finish, unbelievable for Ramirez. Well, let's get into the dressing room now, Ben, but look at this running from deep. Valdez in the middle of no man's land and the absolute perfect little chip. Frank Lampard with the pass, absolutely sublime. Lampard teed it up last week as well and then Ramirez put it on a plate for Drogba. That is some goal. It's a wonderful pass, isn't it? Here's Fabregas. Diego Costa, brilliant finish! What a goal that is from Diego Costa. The magic of the man on the volley. And Chelsea lead 3-0. And it's probably one of the best goals you'll see on match day one of the Champions League. Well, this is top, top quality, isn't it? This is what Chelsea are all about. It says Fabregas on the ball, he finds Diego Costa, and it's a goal. How many times have we said that? It's a wonderful, wonderful finish. But look at the movement just before the ball was clipped in. If we get the opportunity, there we see the run across the face. I think it was of Oscar. Oscar's made the run across and the defender's gone with him, which has created the space in front for Diego Costa to get to the ball first. It's good movement by Oscar. It's left the space for Costa and he does the rest. And doesn't he do it well? Brilliant stuff, just hopped it on its way. Two and a bit left. Matters corner, Drogba! It's a goal of destiny from the man we knew would score. He had to, he has two minutes left and it's one each. What an absolutely magnificent goal by Didier Drogba. Super ball in by Matter. The pace on the ball is Correct. Drogba, his timing of his run, his heading ability, absolutely different class. And what a finish. Attacks the ball at the near post. He was determined to get there first. Absolutely rocketed into the top corner. Neuer with no chance at all. And there it is, delighted Chelsea fans, and that's no more than Chelsea deserves in this, the European Cup Winners' Cup final replay. Di Matteo. That's a Super Bowl. Dennis Wise is onto it. Dennis Wise, equaliser! What a moment! What a moment for the little skipper! 
What a finish! It had to be him! Lampard's with him, hasn't really had a touch yet, Frank Lampard, this is actually Cole North Heat, and Lampard again, this is where we want to see him. And on the volley, it's Hessian, oh my word, that might just be the best goal that's ever been scored at Stamford Bridge, Michael Hessian's got it, it is massive, it is magnificent. Awesome strike, left foot, have some of that. Have you ever seen a better goal than that I, in a Champions I, League I, or any match? Sit down in the final. I can't believe what I have just witnessed. That is quite possibly the best goal Stamford Bridge has ever seen. Unbelievable. As soon as it left his foot, Ben, I knew he had a chance. Final minute. Ivanovic! It's there! Slav Ivanovic wins the Europa League for Chelsea Football Club. Stunning, stunning drama right at the death in Amsterdam. Absolutely wonderful. You can't write the script, can you? It's a free header. The one thing I was thinking as the corner's coming in, there was miss out, Lewis out. We did that. Branislav never gave it up, he was backing off. It's a free header and it's looted to the back of the net. The goalkeeper rooted to the spot. It's a disaster for Benfica, but what a way to win. Chelsea in Europe, never dull and often glorious. Michelele. Posted over the top. Lampard was not offside, the home fans thought he was, and he scored! Well, I can't believe he meant it, maybe he did. But who cares one way or another? This extraordinary game's taken another twist, and Frank Lampard has scored pretty much from the byline. Well, I'll tell you what, it was coming. What a wonderful start this second half. We kept knocking on the door. Valdez pulled off one really good save. A couple of good chances, and it's no more than we deserve in this second half. I'll tell you what, though. Frank doesn't mean this. All it is is just a hopeful ball back into the box. He's onside. He's onside. Let's get one thing straight there. And it's his bad first touch that gives him this opportunity, ironically. It's just a loft in. He doesn't mean this. Valdez has caught at that near post. Oh, what a wonderful finish that was. He won't mind, Frank. He'll take that. And now we're looking at a very, very different game. Barcelona have come out the traps very, very sloppily this second half. Chelsea have been on top of the game. Javi pops it in towards Keita. Oh my goodness, no, they want a handball for, for a me. penalty. No, They're not getting it. Cole's done well. Torres is away. And he's what on a chance. One on one with Valdez to send Chelsea to the Champions League final. Fernando Torres has done it. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. What a goal. Fernando Torres, what a chance. He's taken it so, so well. Well, they've pushed everybody forward, Barcelona. They've thrown everything at Chelsea. I thought Torres made a mistake. I thought he should have cleared initially. It gets blocked, but then the ball is booted clear and Torres is away. And he's finished it so, so well. Those fresh legs, so important at that stage. Well, game over, Ben. We're through. Composure when it mattered. Everyone was up. The back door was open. And back on Spanish soil, Fernando Torres is a hero for Chelsea.